Hi, I'm Ankit and this video will show you the problem on lead code. So count pair whose sum is less than target. So given a zero index array of length n and integer target and we have to return the number of pairs that are possible such as i comma j where nums of i plus nums of j that is less than a target. So for example if the if they say target is equal to 2, we will see in this example minus 1 comma 1 that is one pair which is forming a target 0 which is less than target. Then what other form you could see this and one more thing which they have okay and one more thing which is you can see 0 1 2 3 4 0 minus 1 this one pair this is a different element though we have minus 1 1 over but this is a different element 1 so another pair will be there that is also making 0 that is less than target next another one will be minus 1 comma 2 so that is giving you sum as 1 which is less than target that is 2 so these are the three pairs which are possible that is that satisfies the condition and you have to return those pairs so what is the approach to solve the problem we will look into that now so what we have to do is First, they have given an array. Let's take the array. Let's take the array. Minus 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. Okay. First, what we will do is we will sort this array. Okay. Sorting this array, what it will give you? Minus 1, comma 1, comma 2, 3. Right? Okay. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I should go control Z. We have minus 1, comma 1, comma 1 more 1 you have. Then 2 and 3. Okay, so this is the array what we have now. Now, what we will look at? Once array is sorted, and we have to search for the number of pairs. That means we can apply binary search method here. Though you can do linear search. In linear search, what you do? You take minus 1, you add it with 1. If it is less than target, you check minus 1, add it with 2, minus 1, add it with 3, minus 1, add it with 1 again. Then this, this this pair then 2 3 2 1 then 3 1 so all the pairs you have to take instead there is the normal approach we take a big of n square complexity because two loops you will have but in within a single loop how do you do it so first for sorting we need log n okay then after that one linear search so it will be n log n total of n log n time complexity so how do we solve the problem so what we will do is First, as I said, we sort the array. Now, we will apply the binary search method. So, minus 1, 1, 1, 2, 3. Okay. We will have two pointers as you know. One is left. Another is right. And we have to target. that is equal to 2. Right. Okay. So, we have the target that is equal to 2. Now, check. This is 0 indexed. 1, 2, 3, 4. I have just mentioned the index. Okay. Now check. Minus 1 plus 3. Okay. Minus 1 plus 3. If you do minus 1 plus 3, what it will give you? Answer 2. Is it less than target? No. It is not less than target. So that means, yeah, 3 is not possible. 3, won't, 3 is always greater than minus. So what you do is you do write minus minus. So write with minus. So if this is not less than target, you do write minus minus. Okay, fine. Then again you do minus 1 plus 2. Nums of left plus nums of right if it is less than target. So is 1 is less than 2? Yes, it is. So now this should this is a pair which should be added to the count. So what we will do is, what will be the number of pairs that, is, that are possible? So any pair within the range, this left and right are possible, right? So how do you take the count? So what we do is, Count will be equal to count plus right minus left. So count is 0 plus what is right? We have 3 minus 0. That equal to 0. That means minus 1 with 1, minus 1 with 1, minus 1 with 2. 3 pairs are possible. Minus 1 with 1, minus 1 with 1, minus 1 with 2. So these 3 pairs are possible. That is what we have taken here. So this should be 3 over here. Yeah. 0 plus 3 minus 3 minus 0 is 3. So, these three pairs are possible for this left, for this particular index, for this particular element. From here till 2, how many pairs are possible? Minus 1 with 1, minus 1 with 1, minus 1 with 3. So, 3 are possible. That how do we get that, those count? Right minus left if you do, that will be get the count. Now, you know left plus this. Okay. Again, check 1 plus 2. Is it less than target 3? Sorry, not 3. Is it less than 2? 3 is less than 2? No, it is not. So, you just do right minus minus. Okay. 
this one again 1 plus 1 how much is it 2 is it less than 2 no again you do write minus minus okay so once you get left equal to right you can stop it because no need to do because this won't be considered as pair you can't do 1 plus 1 here okay so this is a approach to solve the problem so in case let's say okay let's say uh, this was minus 1 this was 1 so in such case if i take a minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 and 1 3 if you have pointers over here and here minus 1 plus 2 will be 2 that is not less than 2 so you just decrement this pointer again minus 1 1 is it equal to 0 0 is less than 2 so that means how many pairs minus 1 with 1 minus 1 minus 1 with 1 minus 1 with 1 so 3 pairs how do you get it if this is 0 1 2 3 4 so 3 minus 0 this index so 3 you, 3 count you count for this index so 3 3 3 is the count you call for this index now you increment the left i get minus 1 with 1 minus 1 with 1 minus 1 plus 1 will be less than 2 that is 0 right so again minus 1 with 1 minus 1 with 1 two pairs are possible so we have the count two. how do you get it right minus left right is 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 two, two pairs then again move again pointer left plus plus again check 1 plus 1 how much 2 2 is less than 2 no in this case right minus minus you do once left and right are pointing at same position you can stop the loop so you total have 5 per, per, per pairs this is the answer so first let's have a variable count and let's initialize it to zero so then we will have left pointing to zero and right pointing to uh, first okay nums dot length or, or else let's say let n be equal to array dot size yeah so we have left pointer now we uh, initialize right pointer equal to n minus 1 that is the last index so white left lesser than right okay so what we need to do first check if nums of left plus nums of right if it is less than target, not equal to the strictly set less than target, then what will be done? Count plus equals to right minus left. So those many pairs for that element we have. Next, what will happen? We have to increment left. So left plus plus. Else right minus minus you have to do. So at last return count. So we shall run this. Uh, what mistake did I do? Yeah, I have made, missed the major part. We have to sort the array, no? So sort of nums dot begin, comma nums dot end. If we don't sort the array, then we have to check for the each element, compare it with each element. So yeah, yes, and for Java also same logic. Here they have given list integer, so you use collection dot sort function. Same right pointer, left pointer, and you use dot get because it's a list. If it was other than normal indexing only, would have been worked. So yeah, we shall submit this. Yes, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video in the next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.